Hi guys and welcome to my channel. We're going to be watching Shadow Hunter Season 2, Episode 11. If you guys would like to follow me on Twitter, would like to get early access to my reactions, or would like to watch the full reactions over on my Patreon, the links are down below. Let's get into this episode. Clary's got the ability to draw new runes, so you must be able to do something special. You mean other than kick your ass? <laughs> so you gonna tell Clary? So she's not your sister. Ah, ah, you're the only person I told. You know she's lost so much. She's got a good thing going with Simon. You think you're so irresistible? She's gonna double as soon as she finds out you're not related. And you <laughs> worry a little less about my love life. A little more about your fighting skills. What if I'm walking to the subway and then next thing I know I'm a scorch mark on 9th well, Avenue? let's not think about that, okay? That's what I'm scared of. They're just like stopping all of a sudden and he's out in the sun. Something I want to tell you. No matter what, your secret's safe with me. What secret? Do you know how your pure angelic blood somehow made me immune to the sun? You don't know that's what happened. What else could it be? Look, yeah. The point is that if any vampire were to find out, there'd be a bullseye on your carotid artery. You have nothing to worry about. I got your back. Get in here. Stop it. <laughs> no one's ever seen the mortal mirror. We have no idea if it even exists. Well, this much is certain. At this point, your only way to avoid execution is hand over the cup. Actually, it's quite the opposite. See, knowing where the mortal cup is... Keeps him alive. Everything that's keeping me alive. Justice will be served. <laughs> You said you retrieved the sword after the attack. I just don't understand why you wouldn't... The rune your sister drew to deactivate the sword ended up damaging it in the process. It's been sent to the Iron Sisters to be purified. I know you're part of Herondale's security detail. I also know that you've captured Valentine, which means you have the cup. We you know where it is. Valentine won't tell anyone. Pity. Who is this guy? Let's make it a party. You gonna do it, everyone? Jesus. I'm assuming this is the guy that took the sword? Well, I'm guessing he's a warlock of some kind. Obviously, he's not a good person. Now, is, is he going through the withdrawal? Whatever you need. I'm okay. I just need to sweat it out. Maybe I'm not gonna leave you like this. I'm gonna be fine. Rafael, I think if I can have a, s a small bite, no. over time I can have less and less. It doesn't work like that. I should have never given you a taste. Oh, Isabel. I know there are vampires here. Okay, well the necklace just broke. Oh, what is this? Who are you? I'm Shadow Hunter. My name's Sebastian. What did Valentine do to you? Slashed my throat open, like completely. And then he used this nuclearized sword and like, swiped it. The next thing I know, the sun doesn't fry me anymore. That's it, just like that? Yeah. Crazy, right? Simon, that's amazing. A greater demon. Azazel, one of the princes of hell. Right. Real okay. Prince. Why is it so dark? Supernatural kind of knowledge coming through here. Your sister's in trouble. You're damn right she is. She's suffering withdrawal back at the Institute because of you. She just came by the Dumont, begging for a bite. I never should have left her alone. It's not your fault. Don't worry. We'll find her. Yeah, it's not all yeah, Raphael's fault either. Yeah, he was giving her her fixes, but he didn't start the addiction. The greater demon wanted to free me. How would I still be here having this inane conversation with you two? I want to banish demon filth from our realm. If you were smart, Jace, you'd use me as bait. 
The only way to control no. a greater demon is with the mortal cup. I say he'll do anything to destroy it. No. Have Don't, be Don't be stupid. Don't be stupid. could possibly make you think that we could trust him? I'm not sure I would trust me either if I were you, but the longer Azazel has Isabel, the greater the chance she dies. We he doesn't have you. Isabel, though. Jace is your son. You've heard him plenty. Is he going to find out the truth? Or is he going to use you this? didn't tell her. Oh, no. He's going to tell her. You want to do the honors or shall I? Shut up! Just tell her. I don't see why he's making such a big deal out of this. Valentine's not my father. I'm not your brother, Clary. I don't know why they're making that such a horrible Clary, thing. How long have you known? Just a few days. Why didn't you say something? You have a good thing going on with Simon. You're happy. I wouldn't want to ruin that. Why would that ruin anything? One drop, and you'll feel like a new person. Look, it'll help with the pain of your venom addiction. Speed up your recovery. That's sort of what Aldertree told her. That would speed up her recovery. No, it's not a I hope this drug. is not going to be a new addiction. So why aren't you in London with your institute? I had to kick my infant addiction. What are the chances that he would be addicted to the same thing? It seems odd. It was bad for the pack. He also took Reed, Greg, and Segan. They don't trust you. They're headed down to Philly to start their own pack. They asked me to go with them. Look, if you want to leave, by all means. I'm not going anywhere, Luke. There's only a few of us left. How's the pack going to survive? Look, I don't care if it's just you and me. We'll figure out a way. Why is he crying? I don't get it. Why is he crying? Oh, is it? Is he... Grieving for all the downworlders he killed, even though he didn't do it. It's the only thing I can think of. I don't know why else he'd be crying. You need to call your institute. Let them know you're okay. Look, don't let your brother worry. You're a daylighter. There's a name for it. Yeah. How'd it happen? Not sure, really. Been a vampire for 60 years. You've been one for what? Two weeks? This isn't the sort of information you should be hoarding for yourself. I know. Only been two weeks? Yeah. I thought a lot more time had passed. She's so dumb. She's not with I this guy. Let's do this. Valentine's so gonna get free, I swear. This exchange? I summon thee. It is in Magnus Bane. Brave move. Turn Isabel Lightwood. And we'll hand over Valentine. He can lead you to the Mortal Cup. It's a tempting offer, but I don't have your friend, Isabel. He's lying. I'm not so sure. No time for debate. You thought you could contain me? You kind of can't. Stupid warlock. No more present for you, my dear Valentine. Okay. I have no idea. Help me. Help me. I can come back home with you if you'd like. No. No. I'll call you tomorrow. There's a, a greater demon attack. I'm just... so sorry. I should have called you, but I figured you'd be so angry with me. And... Is it? I'm not angry. I just I want you back home. Safe. You've been great. This is just a battle I need to fight on my own. What is he doing? It is. Do you want milk? Honey? You activated a rune without your stele. 
I don't know. I saw you lying there, and it just kind of ignited on its own. Is Magnus, did he like take Magnus's powers or something? Because that's the only thing I can think of right now. Disgusting warlock. Oh no. Okay guys, so that was the end of episode 11, and we got introduced to two new characters, Sebastian and uh, Azazel. Sebastian is a supposed shadow hunter. I'm guessing it's true. He had the the shadow hunter weapon, and I think it only works with shadow hunters. So, um, so Sebastian helped Izzy when she went looking for a fix and saved her from Azazel, who is a greater demon. He's a one of the princes of hell. And I watch Supernatural, so this is not the first time I've heard of Azazel. Um, I can't remember if he was the Prince of Hell in that show or not, but it didn't really matter. It's just it's not the first time I've heard that name associated with a demon. Um, or heard of Princes of Hell, so. Um, so Azazel is looking for the Mortal Cup. So that's why he's been going around uh, talking to other shadow hunters. Uh, wanting to know where the cup is because they have Valentine, so he thinks that Valentine uh, told them where it is and they're going to tell him. But Valentine says he doesn't know where the mortal cup is. I don't know if that's true or not. Uh, I thought for sure Valentine was going to get free, but he didn't. Azazel did something to him. He said that he's giving him a gift. I don't know if it's like a, like he, a good gift like something that he would want or not. Um, I'm not sure. He didn't seem happy after Azazel um, disappeared. He was like, he was asking them to help him. So he also did something to Magnus. I didn't know what I thought. Maybe he took his powers away, but I don't think so. I think he just made him hate himself, like hate warlocks or just hate demons in general uh so that's not good maybe he did the same thing to valentine made him hate himself maybe i don't know i'm really not sure uh they didn't explain the simon thing about how he can walk in the sun because they don't know i don't know why they're not like trying to find answers they seem to just be blowing it off as a fluke kind of thing um, Raphael is interested in how it happened. I think he's kind of jealous because he's been a vampire longer and can't walk in the sun and Simon is a new vampire who can. Uh, so I think that's going to be a problem. Um, we also have Luke having problems with his pack. They don't trust him anymore and a number of them have left uh, to start their own pack elsewhere. And Luke's like, whatever, fine. <laughs> he doesn't even care. Um, but Maya is going to stay with stay with Luke. So, And Luke also has a new partner um, in the police force. Uh, she seems sort of suspicious. She's really chatty, like wanting to like know things about Luke, which can be a normal, you know, thing, you know, between people. You know, you ask people questions all the time, you know. Um... But I don't know. She just seems sort of suspicious. Uh, at the end, when he's talking to Maya, and she starts, she took a picture of them. Why? That's that's weird. Um, Jace uh, didn't want to tell Clary that they weren't brother and sister. I don't know why. I he says that he didn't want to do it because she had a good thing with Simon. I think that is kind of uh, arrogant of him. <clears throat> to think that if he told her uh, that they weren't related, that she would just automatically dump Simon to be with him. Because I think that's sort of what he was thinking, and he didn't want to ruin her happy relationship with Simon. So I was like, okay. Um, and then when it did get revealed, <clears throat> they made it so dramatic. I don't understand why they made it such a huge deal it's not like it's the end of the world that they aren't brother and sister it they 
So what? You know, yeah, it's something, it's information that, that you have to process. You're like, because you, you got used to the idea. You know, like you were um, at least close to love, if not in love with, with each other, and then find out you're related so you can't be together. So you try to make your own life, you know, get new relationships. And, and that's what she did. And yeah, I mean, I don't know. They just made it so dramatic. And then like Jace was like so angry for her to find out. He seemed like he was sad that she found out. I just, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I thought it was true dramatic. Um, so, and I can, I, I don't think that Clary was dramatic. I think that Jace was. Um, Clary had a, had a reason to be upset that Jace didn't tell her. Like, he was keeping it a secret. It just didn't make sense. Um, but yeah, anyway, overall, I thought that was just really dramatic for no reason. I'm kind of worried um, how they're going to deal with Azazel. He's very powerful, like super, super powerful. You think that they would know how to deal, like have some kind of idea how to deal with him, some runes or weapons that can handle Azazel, but I don't know. I mean, Magnus was able to hold him a little bit, but Azazel got out of it pretty easily and he could have killed them all with just the flick of his hand. He could have killed them all. I don't know why he didn't. Um, maybe because he wants the cup and thinks that they're going to be able to get it for him. I don't know. But hopefully that, I mean, usually Magnus is the one that fixes like some of the things that happen. But since Magnus is one of the ones affected, I don't know if they're going to have to find another warlock maybe to fix whatever Zazel did. If they can, because Zazel's magic might be too too hard for them to fix. I don't know. Maybe Jace will be able to do it. Um, so, I mean, Jace had like a new sort of power, I guess, in this episode. He didn't have to use his uh, staley, I think that's how they say it, um, to activate his uh, one of his runes. Um, and his eyes glowed uh, of orangey yellow color. Um, so yeah, so that was interesting. I don't know. They, they really haven't explained anything, to be honest. Like, um, like they said that when it comes to the soul sword, I, we saw somebody walking away with it. Now the clave said that they have it and they went to have it fixed, but I don't think that's true. Because we saw this strange person just walking away with the sword and I don't think that was the clave. I think that was someone else. Maybe maybe it was Azazel, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I have no clue. Maybe the clave's telling the truth, but I don't think they are. So I don't know. Hopefully we'll find out soon. But I I mean overall I did enjoy this episode. It was uh intense in some parts, especially when it came to Azazel. Um, I am a little worried for Izzy because Sebastian uh, was burning himself on the stove. Um, he seems like he wants to help her get over her addiction because he had the same addiction and he was able to get over it. But I mean, what are the chances that she would run into another shadow hunter from a different institute in this dark alley? Uh, that suffered the same addiction that she's suffering from. So I just seems too coincidental for me to think that this isn't a setup of some sort for something. So I don't know. Well, well, I'm sure that there's going to be a lot more to that. So we'll see what happens there. But um, overall, I really like this episode. I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have any suggestions on anything you'd like me to react to, please leave that down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.